Hello guys. This video is provided to you by Engineer Helm at YouTube channel. In 2019. This is lesson 1 from Microsoft Excel 2019. The interface of the software is something like this. Containing tabs, groups, and formula bar. Cell or range name box. And the major part of this area, consisting of a column and rows. Each cell called by the column, and the row. For example, this cell is called, E5. Which E refers to column E, and 5 refers to row 5. Here at the bottom, there is a bar consist of all the sheets from the workbook. Let's click on the next sheet. Here are some tasks, which I wrote them to start as a beginning. First task is about text, here in this cell, there is a text. If we select it, then an alignment group under the Home tab. You can change the direction and the position of the text. The second task is about writing in one cell, how to handle the space. If it required a space larger than the cell width. There are some solutions. Change the width of the cell. Here you can go to the top of the column line and select this line beside the column name. Then drag it to the right to make it larger. Or to the left to make it smaller. Another thing that you can do is wrapping the text, which allows the text to be in more than one row. Or you can merge the cell together with the next cells. Third task is about changing the number formatting. Let's change this cell to the US dollar. Select the cell, then go to number format here. Now you have multiple options. General, number, currency, accounting, short date, long date, time, etc. And there is also a more number format button, which allows you to custom options from these above formats. For example, if I want to format this cell to the euro instead of dollar. For now, let's choose currency. Now you can see that the cell format is changed to the dollar. For the next cell, let's change it to Iraqi dinar. Select the cell, then go to the more number formats. Here choose the currency, then from the symbol, find the format that you want. Here we choose Iraqi dinar. Another option if you want it, is the decimals, here you see two decimals after the number. I like to change it to zero decimal here. Then click OK. Now let's go to conditional formatting. Select the cells that you want to apply the conditional formatting. Then from Home tab, under Styles group, go to conditional formatting. Here because we want the top three numbers, we go to top bottom rules. Now we have many options, but for our purpose, we select top 10 items. Because we want the top 3, so you need to decrease the number to 3 and choose the color whatever is required. We select the yellow, for this example. Then click OK. Now if I change this number, to a low number. Directly the format of the cell will be changed. Because it will highlight only the top 3 as we defined from conditional formatting. Now it's time to mathematical operations. Here are six tasks dot which each of them requires a function as summation, difference, multiplying, dividing, taking the square root, and rise it to a power. Let's start one by one. To be mentioned before you write any formula or operation you need to write the equals sign. Select the cell that you want to show the result. Then write equals, 
and select the cell with the value. Then the operation, then the other cell with the other value. If you are finished, you can press enter on the keyboard. Otherwise, if you have any other operations you can continue then press enter on the keyboard. For example, here I can write plus 5. If you are finished, you can press enter on the keyboard. Then the next tasks are the same as changing the operation. Here the square root of a number can be written in Excel like that. For the power, hold on shift and press number 6 on the keyboard. Let's start with some simple statistics operations. To get the maximum number from a set of numbers, select a cell that you want to get the result from it. Type equals, then max, open bracket, then select the set of numbers, close the bracket, press enter. To get the minimum number, same steps but instead of max write am I an. And for average, summation and counting are the same as getting the maximum. With following considerations. To take the average of the set of numbers. Write average instead of max. To take summation of all selected numbers. Write sum instead of max. To count the numbers, write count instead of max.